Alrighty, oh man, I love this. Like I can like lean back and rock. All right, so uh, target today is really anything that moves. We're gonna be trolling for the most part. That's why I got the lounge chair. because It's gonna be super nice and comfy. Look, I can lean back. Oh, it's, it's better than I expected. So, um, a couple, couple people responded to my story saying, oh Josh, you're gonna get water and it's gonna come like 100 pounds, which yeah, most likely will be the case, but it's okay because I'm not expecting to like keep this. It was a freebie, so just test it out and then maybe if I want to invest in an actual seat, I will. Uh, let's see, um, right now we got some Rapalas tied up, so we're gonna be trolling that. We got a purple one with black stripes and then we got one that looks like a smelt. So, we're gonna make our way down towards Carlsbad, probably fish buck pipe, and then we'll go ahead and fish pipe if we can make it down there. Yes, I know, I'm sorry, it's called pipe. I don't make up the rules. So we're gonna head down there and uh, we're gonna see what's what's happening. I know they're doing dredging right out here, so I gotta, gotta be careful, but we'll see. Got my kill switch connected to me, um, and I got the life jacket, so we're gonna go. Should I go around? Okay, perfect, thank you. So, um, law enforcement just gave me a heads up that they're doing dredging, so there's a long line of pipes, so they just say go on the inner side, and that'll be great. So it's our restricted area, just for today, as far as I know, so we're gonna go ahead and just head down here, head that way. So we're still making our way to the pipe. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the trawler! Yes, okay, so uh, we have a purple Rapala. Supposedly it dives about 20 feet, 20 to 30 feet. I'm gonna go ahead and rip that guy out there. We're gonna go ahead and scoot up a little more. This is a high speed pen senator. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in forward. I'm gonna turn on my clicker. And we're gonna put it in our little handy dandy rod holder we made. <laughs> Perfect, okay. And then we're gonna pull out this other one right here. This is also a Rapala. It is smelt color. And this one, I believe it dives about 10 feet. for a bite. All right, we're gonna continue to troll back down to the pipe, the shallow end, and then probably throw the swim baits and then continue on our journey. All right, so 
stopped on the pipe, dropping down for some bait. Oh, I just popped off. Um, we're catching mackerel. Maybe I can put one on as a, a live line and kind of troll it around. Hook up, guys. On, uh, on the white memory bait. Tiny little calico. Oh, there we go. Let me move it out so I can get the sun. Here we go. Little calico on the white memory bait. Boom. I believe we are off the spot. I'm just gonna go ahead and back up onto it. Basically what I'm doing is I'm just casting parallel to shore, letting it hit the bottom, and then slowly reeling back towards myself. Dude, this chair is so comfy, it's not even funny. Oh, there we go. Better size one. Ooh. Ooh. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Stupid halibut. Ah! Oh, that is so frustrating. <gasps> All right, so I fished the big swaying bait for about 30 minutes, just nonstop, nothing. So I'm switching back over to the smaller stuff. I switched out the curly tail that was ripped up and I'm using a yellow wet bandit bait. So same thing like last time, just let it hit the bottom. And then once it hits the bottom, when there's no line coming out, just do a slow, slow retrieval. So hit the bottom and I'm just winding slow. When you feel weight, go ahead and set that hook. Oh, dang it, it just popped off. Oh, oh, frick! Calico on the hookup baits. Oh, got slammed 
on the drop. I think I just ripped my swim bait off the jig head. <laughs> I swear that's what I just did. Nope. Fish on. Oh. Definitely a lot more fight in this guy. Cat or not calico, sand bass. Ha! <laughs> I did, I ripped off the uh, swim bait. So it is either in its mouth or somewhere down there. There's the jig head. Here's the swim bait. I mean, the fish, not the swim bait. So I'm gonna go into my secret tackle box. And I am feeling like a curly tail wet bandit baits. I know that's gonna get crushed down there. Watch, just watch. There we go, cast that out. We're gonna let that sit for a little bit, let it sink all the way to the bottom. And then like the swim bait, just nice slow retrieval on the way back. Now we actually just drifted off our reef, so I don't think we're gonna get anything. Uh, the only thing I see us catching is either a mackerel or a halibut, because it's sand right now. So once we reel this up, we're gonna go ahead and move back over. So just nice and slow, nice and slow. Obviously, if you want, you can twitch it. Uh, me, personally, I just like to reel it in slowly and then let it drop back down to the bottom. Let it hit the bottom. The way, you, the way to tell if it hits the bottom is you will have no more line sinking down. like that let it hit to the bottom and then slow retrieval just nice and slow so my line has hit the bottom there's nothing coming out just gonna do a slow retrieval and if you feel weight on the end of your hook set the hook like that Oh no, drag me into the rocks. There we go, got him out. Oh my gosh! There's a big calico that just followed that up. There we go, got him out. Oh my gosh! There's a big calico that just followed that up. Oh. Okay, here's the little wet bandit baits. Here's the little calico. We're in about 40 feet of water right now. Hit the bottom. Slow retrieval. Um, now, I noticed when I cast back out, my tail was gone. So, it's just basically like the body, it's the white body. So I'm gonna do like a little popping action to make it seem like a dying bait fish. Go so pop, pop, pop. Let it sit back down. Oh, man! Oh, oh my goodness, he hit so hard. Nice sand bass. I lost count of how many fish I got. So no tail, I mean there's a little tail, but it's not gonna do any action really, so I'm just popping it on the bottom. Nice little sand bass. Oh, oh, oh. 
<laughs> I love this swivel chair. I am not gonna lose you this time, buddy. Ooh, big calico. On the memory baits. Damn, look at that toad. How about them apples? It's a chunky monkey. Right here on the white memory baits, swim baits I make. Good, healthy calico. We're gonna go ahead and release this guy. Bam, presto. Uh, we are still on the reef, so I'm gonna cast back out. Oh, just got nailed. Ooh, ooh. There we go, on the drop. Little sand bass. It's like every cast. There we go. Boom. Fish on. Oh, another decent sized sand bass. right there white memory bait nice little sand bass things getting torn up so um, just gonna bite off the front end like eight millimeters and then hook it back on but do it upside down and then toss that bad boy back out there. All right, we're gonna go ahead and reel on up and we're gonna make your move. We're gonna head down into Carlsbad. All righty, uh, we are currently, uh, we're currently three miles out. We're at the end of the canyon. Um, no luck. I've been trolling for about an hour now. I think what we're gonna do. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna reel up. We're gonna head in, um, fish for some bass on the inside, and then troll all the way back home.
back in. We're at pipe. Um, we're in 40 feet of water. But I'm having a, a hard time like staying on top of it. The pipe is like so thin. I'm seeing marks down below, but I've gotten one bite and that's it. It's definitely a lot choppier now than it was earlier. belly on this thing. Alright, well I hate to leave the, the fish while they're biting, but um, I didn't fill up all the way, so I am low on fuel right now. I'm going to start making my way back, and uh, we'll troll on the inside this time. Uh, on our way out, I was trolling in about 600 feet of water. Um, now we're gonna troll in about 50 feet of water. So hey, maybe we'll get a big old calico. 